a episectomy is a uh, surgical procedure in which in which we save a endodontically treated root even after the treatment of the root there's still some infection present in the apical part of the root area so if you stick till the end of this video you will find out what episectomy actually is how is it done and what are the benefits of episectomy as well so uh, or apicotomy depending how you pronounce it episectomy uh, like a removal of the apex or epicotomy, epical, epical, or removal of the apical part of the tooth, yeah, doesn't matter. So epic, epicotomy, episectomy, doesn't, ma doesn't matter, uh, stick with episectomy, is a surgical, so after, after a, you had, let's say, a root canal treatment from various reasons, uh, and you had a periapical lesion on the apical part of your tooth, root of your tooth, um, and the lesion is still present there or the root canal system is too complex to be endodontically treated well and there, there is still bacteria in this apical part because a root canal system is never like a single single canal but it's more it's more like a root of a tree you have one main root and several dozen others that are even visible to the naked eye and therefore cannot be even cleaned or instrumented mechanically only sometimes cleaned uh, chemically uh, via uh, different uh, antiseptics that we use in our uh, endodontical procedures so when this type of apical apex is still present that has a persistent infection inside an episectomy is then um, is then indicated to perform to save the remaining tooth so you don't have to extract so um, the the whole episectomy is let's it can be done on every every root on every tooth but because of the because it's uh, really hard to approach some distal molars um, I personally do not do not do episectomy uh, after the first molar I and on, and I'm talking about the the roots on the side that are on the side of the cheek the buccal roots. So uh, when we talk, and that, that is something that is reserved for upper upper jaw and lower jaw, sometimes the mesial mesial buccal uh, root of the first molar, because it's really hard to approach this area because the cheeks and the muscles and everything are in the way, and uh, episectomy is performed from inside the mouth. You don't want to do episectomy through the through the cheek uh, through the cheek of the patient to create some. Uh, on non-needed scar tissue just to save a apical part of the root. It's not worth it. So when we talk about episectomy, it's reserved from the incisor till the premolar in the upper and lower jaw and sometimes in, uh, for the molars depending if the molars are easily available, if the apical part of the molar is easily available to be properly cleaned. So what's done? After we open a flap in this area, we remove the gums by various different types of uh, incisions. We approach to the bone. Uh, sometimes you, ever, or after you remove the gum tissue, you all you almost immediately see the infection of of the apical part. And then you take a round burr and you literally cut out the infected part of the root and infected part of the bone. You clean it up, and after that you close the apical part, the remaining remaining apical part of the tooth with a type of um, a type of filling which is, that is special for this type of treatment and you suture back the wounds all together. Uh, with this technique you can then preserve the longevity of your endodontically treated tooth sometimes even till uh, permanently and sometimes it is not possible but times um, after the root is done you put the sutures on and the sutures are then removed after seven days post-operative wound care is normal like with any bones like with any dental surgery and you should follow those rules strictly that have been given by your doctor the idea of episectomy is to preserve the remaining tooth tissue which is still viable in the bone uh, by sacrificing a apical small portion of the tooth itself because a well healed and um, healthy, let's say healthy, infection free endodontically treated tooth is sometimes still better than the best dental implant that is available on the market. Why? Because it has its own ligament, it's, it's your own tissue in some sort, it's not vital but still it's your own tissue. The aesthetics are often better than the aesthetics you can have on dental implants but this is sometimes also 
uh, a discussion because sometimes a implant is better than a epically treated tooth but this is something you can see spot on uh, by, by the case itself but when we talk about let's say graduation what is better you have your healthy tooth uh, your uh, vital tooth your endodontically treated tooth your tooth uh, which has been done a successful a successful um, infection free episectomy over a period of time and after that then comes a dental implant uh, this is my personal my personal uh, uh, viewpoint of the the quality of of teeth and implants regarding regarding some quality because I graduate the quality of how much is your remaining or what that your own tissue has more value than foreign tissue unless it's permanently infected um, I hope really hope you like this video uh, click the like caps and, and subscribe button for more future content and check my other videos as well we talk about everything about that is about dentistry and dental surgery and and various various topics uh, leave a comment down below and if you have any questions you can ask me in, on my channel or and over different social media see you soon i hope to see you bye